Welcome to another Minecraft breakdown and understanding video. My name is Echo and I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope these videos are actually helping you understand what will be coming in the Minecraft 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. Now today in this video I want to focus on the new redstone feature. Now I'm not massive on redstone so I do have a question for all of you. If you are a redstone user what kind of creations and contraptions are you looking to make with this new redstone feature? So today we're talking about the Skulk block, which is also known as the Skulk growths and the Skulk sensor. Now this can be found in one of the new biomes that has been confirmed. We didn't find out too much detail in regards to this specific biome, but it's known as the deep dark biome, which can be found at the deepest depths of your Minecraft world. So I'm guessing just a couple of layers up before you hit bedrock. Now again, if you guys have any feedback regarding this feature, the developers are looking for it. So make sure you post it on feedback.minecraft.net. Anyway, I have a video clip, so let's roll it. <laughs> and you okay. have something really amazing in this update for the sort of redstone engineers out there. Yes, so we've actually been thinking about this redstone block that lives in the deep dark, a new biome at the deepest depths of the world. We're not gonna talk about this biome too much today, uh, but we are going to show some of the blocks and maybe later a mob that comes from it. Uh, so if we look at the video, we can actually see that there, it's basically this growth, and this is called the skulk blocks. And one of the blocks is called the skulk sensor. This is the new redstone block. As you can see, when you place or destroy a block, or if you have footsteps, it'll actually detect the vibrations around and then emit a redstone signal. So this is gonna be very interesting for redstone players. So Brandon really did not wanna give away too much information regarding the biomes, but he did explain a little bit about the blocks. Now the picture you see right here is known as the skulk growths. These are also gonna be introduced with blocks and sensors. Now, I've always wanted to see a biome like this in Minecraft. He explained it's known as the Deep Dark. It's quite low down in your Minecraft world. There's not much light going on there. Maybe it's something that you don't come across very often. So it's going to be a very pleasant surprise. Or maybe it's not going to be a pleasant surprise. Now, the best way that I can explain this is to me, this location reminds me of something like Stranger Things. But it also reminds me of something like David Attenborough when they go down to the deepest depths of the ocean and you start seeing these really strange fish and creatures because they don't get that much light, they have to adapt to survive. And that's just what it really reminded me of. So moving on to the next picture, what we have here is known as the Skulk Sensor. Now, Brandon explained that if you break or place a block, it will detect a vibration and then it can emit a redstone signal. Now, I'm pretty sure the likes of Mumbo Jumbo and the redstone community went absolutely insane when they seen this. Now, I do have another video clip which explains in a little bit more detail what these vibration signals can actually do. So roll it. Uh, we even have a mechanic around it where you can actually use wool with wool occlusion to essentially prevent signals from being able to uh, get into the skulk sensor. So let's take a look at that now. And as you can see here, I walked next to the skulk sensor and it's actually kind of doing an infinite loop where the piston is causing a vibration and then it's uh, activating the skulk sensor and going over and over again. But here, I've actually put a wall block in between the piston, which prevents the signal from going to the skulk sensor. This can allow you to even do sort of directional skulk sensors where you can put wall blocks on each side and only allow it to detect vibrations in front of it. And vibrations can be so many different things. You know, it can be a snowball a hit, it could be an arrow, it could be footsteps, it could be blocks, anything. So just by re-watching that small video clip, I'm still massively impressed. Now I'm not massive on redstone, as you guys are aware. So I always appreciate the redstone community and the creations that they introduce. And I bet you after seeing that small video clip, their brains are ticking over with multiple contraptions and creations that they could do with it. Now the first picture you see here, it says wool occlusion. So Brandon explained there is gonna be a new mechanic where you can use wool with wool occlusion to prevent signals from being sent. So it's all via via uh, vibration. So the wool kinda consumes the vibration to stop it being sent from one 
uh, device to another. So these are the sensors. So the sensor could kind of be cut off with wool from being sent to a piston. Now you can see another picture right here, which is exactly as he explained. By putting that wool block between the sensor and the piston, the vibration did not go to the piston, meaning that it did not contract. And with this, he explained you were able to put wool blocks on the left or the right or above and behind. And if you do that, the vibration signal will only be sent forward. It won't be sent in multiple directions. And my guess is if you're doing it just in one direction, the vibration strength is going to be a lot stronger compared to spreading out to different like devices, if that makes sense for you guys. Now, he explained that the vibrations can not just be a player. They can be snowballs, they can be arrows, they can be footsteps, they can be blocks. He even said they can be anything. So I do have one more video clip to share with you in today's video, and this is outlined as wireless redstone. So roll it. And another thing we actually, well, we had a bit of a happy accident with this because we realized that we get wireless redstone thanks to the Skulk sensor. Yes. So, and we didn't even plan to add it, uh, but then when we started playtesting, we're like, wait, we got wireless redstone, and that's so exciting, and, well, you can just build so many cool things with that. So there you go. The so-called wireless redstone you can see here was a happy accident. They didn't intend to do this, but yes, it is going to be wireless redstone, and they kind of created a contraption which sent from one sensor to another to another to another to then let off a firework and you can see another picture here there is literally no redstone attached so the community are going to have control of wireless redstone now during minecraft live brandon and agnes explained that they are looking for massive amounts of feedback regarding this feature usually the developers are quite active on reddit but also in social media so you're going to either have to have reddit or a twitter account or post it on the official feedback website. Hopefully I explain this in as great detail as I possibly could, because again, I'm not a redstone user. It's definitely something in Minecraft that I need to learn more of. But if you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. And again, let me know in the comments section, what contraptions are you going to create with this new feature? Catch you next time. Bye.